Quran was revealed to Prophet peace be upon him, it was written down in its entirety in his lifetime by the scribes. Right. When the Prophet made peace be upon him passed, within two years the Quran was compiled together in a text. There was a process in which this was done. Do you know the process? You can say yes or no to that question. I'd rather just listen to you. Okay. So within the last six, seven, eight oldest manuscripts that have been preserved of the Quran, we are finding major variances between Evid Evidence, please. I want you to prove to me that there was a hadith that said that there were multiple Qurans, multiple readings, and the Sahaba, the companions, didn't agree which ones were the right ones. Please, find that for me. Was not, was not, was not, was not, was not, oh yeah, this is the mic, <laughs> Then, okay. when the Prophet of him passed, the, there was a compilation made at that time, within two years of the Prophet of him's death. And this was the first compilation, which no one seems to really talk about. This is a compilation done by under Abu Bakr. You don't know of this? You don't know of this? No, no, no. Do we have, do we have a copy well, in I'm existence? Gonna, well, I'm going to explain to you now. So, how was the, how was the compilation done? Do you know the process, the mechanism that was used to compile? Right. I can only go by what I've read and what I've researched. And my understanding through that process was that when Muhammad... We're talking about the first... Pro first. Right, right. So, first of all, when Muhammad received the first prophecy, there was no witnesses. So it was... We're not talking about that. All right, let me just take one yeah. step at a time. So from that... He then obviously went to uh, a number of people, I think a relative, or is it his mother or somebody? No, no, I'm asking about you. You're, you're well, one second, one second. No, wait, wait. So I'm asking you a specific question, okay? Right. Because if, you, if you're going to just throw things that are false but actually have a good, big impact, I'm not going to really, uh, it's not fair to do that. So I didn't so say to you, for example, that all the original Gospels are anonymous. No one ever signed no, no, no. them. I didn't say that to you. I didn't, one, one, no, second, one second, one second, one second. With I respect, say, with no, respect. No, no. I didn't say that. When I make a claim, we can't just assume that what I'm saying is false. No, I'm not saying that. Nobody so don't say that if you're going to say something that is false. You can't necessarily say that. We can't necessarily, none of us can say that. We can all we do is you put your claim, I put my claim. I'm not making And I'm not saying that what you're saying is false. I haven't actually made a claim yet. I'm trying to actually make a point. But you're saying what I'm saying is false. Let him make his point. make his point. I'm saying to you, you said that no one witnessed the revelation, right? The initial revelation. Now I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you that I didn't say to you that all the Gospels were anonymous because it doesn't serve a purpose. Because originally, I was trying to apply okay, to your all right. point. Now, the question I specifically asked you about, yeah. do you know the process of how the Quran was compiled? Yeah. No, you're talking about revelation, separate, two separate things. No, no, There's no. Revelation and compilation. It, it, I'm asking you about, because you, you spoke about the compilation with, of the Quran. With respect, there is a reason why I said that. It's because from that revelation became the beginning of the compilation. Nice. Because what, this is what I'm saying. It's from that first uh, revelation, okay, which... It's difficult to verify, of course, because there weren't any witnesses. Then there were further revelations. Through those revelations, there were scribes, okay? And there were people that were memorizing, this is the claim, that were memorized. So there was this oral tradition very early on, as well as there was some form of written. To what degree is a very difficult one to say, because... For you, for you. I'm no, saying. no, because... It, so I'm, I'm going to tell you, but it, you're not, you're not answering the question. So how the process in which... So the Quran was written down in its entirety, but not compiled in the life of the Prophet and speak upon him. There's a, that's a fact. Now, one second. Uh, can I ask a quick question no, on that? No, no, quick question on that. Was there any Let him just to make his point first. I'm trying to. This is a logical argument. Let, let, let him make his... Do you want to talk in my Arabic more? Well, I'm just saying that the turf is logic. This gentleman is using logic. He's not using logic at all. He's using hearsay. That's that's. Well, so are you, as far as I know. You're going to have to provide hard evidence. Well, we are going to provide. Don't worry. Relax. Do you want to come and have a conversation for so if, you wish, but, but if you wish, because all you're doing is you're badgering. You were doing it from over there, and now you come. Yeah, over I apologise for badgering. You're, okay, you're, you're not apologising. You're, you're, you're not really apologising. You're just continuing the badger. <laughs> no, no. I'm not, I'm not, so I'm just pointing out that you are asserting truth. I'm, if, I'm not, if I preach, I'll assert if you, truth. If, if you I allow me to... If you, I'll use logic. If you know, allow me let to him make his point. sentence, let, let him make his point. Let him make his made. point. So you can come and understand with your Christian yeah, colleague because you are so supporting Okay. So, and, and, I, and I'll prove the point to you. I'll, I'll sta historically establish the fact. Let's do that that way, yeah? So historically, it's established fact that the Gospels were anonymous. This is the historical... If you, can show, if you can show an early gospel 
that was written down that where either Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John or re- re- signed them, that would be great. Not they, the time they were, absolutely. So I'm telling you that this is historically established that the original Gospels were actually written anonymously. Now, I don't think that's true. No, yeah, you don't have to think that's true. Either. That's, that's I, I, an assertion. I think you'll find like that yeah, that's that's yours is an assertion. Yeah, we so, both have to prove yeah, it. Yeah, so what and, you have to do, and, the way to prove it is to provide an early manuscript. There is superb history in Luke's Gospel. It dovetails with Roman emperors. It dovetails with archaeology. The, the problem well, with the revelation the of Muhammad was, is it was, was just, was I heard first, in a cave, the, honest, no, you're, I did. You're not, you're not you know, even, you're not there even, is no dovetailing and cohering. Okay. Let, 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 him make his point, let him make his point. You keep interrupting me, let let There was no early manuscript of any of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke or John, that were signed by the authors. We're going off tangent. We're going off tangent. Your claim that historically there was dovetailing is irrelevant to the fact that not irrelevant because originally the Gospels I'm a scientist, I look for evidence and I look no, for no, coherence. No, no, what you're doing is you're looking for coherence you're not, in the Bible. No, no, no you're going off the same. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. fine. So, science okay. has got nothing to do with this. Wait, stop yeah, a second. Got a what we're going to do is you give us your version of what you understand how the Quran. Well, if you know, if you tell the colleague who was badging for him over there, who's now come to badge over there, I'll make your point. I'm going to make your point. But let's stick to this one first. Let's do one point at a time. That's fine. Give him two minutes and let him make his point. I'm very curious to understand how you think the Quran developed. And so okay. am I. I am. Okay. And, and why you're so sure? We don't believe it developed. It developed from the beginning. There's a complete no, heaven no. in Muslim no. thinking. You've, 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 imp- un- you've implied something you within a question you don't know why which, which, which we don't accept. Which we don't accept. It's not nice to be bigoted. It's something about the development of history. Okay, let him run. Let him run. Make it. Let him run. Make his point. So we. So we have the Quran was revealed to Prophet peace be upon him. It was written down in its entirety in his lifetime. By the scribes. Right. When the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him passed, within two years the Quran was compiled together in a text. There was a process in which this was done. Do you know the process? You can say yes or no to that question. I'd rather just listen to you. Okay. So let's assume that you don't know the process because you're, you're not. No, no, it's not assuming okay. anything. Let's just listen to you. Know okay. some okay. Things about it. That's probably out of so state. That's this point. Okay. So the way that it was compiled was a committee was established. Now, we know that the Quran was memorized. Why do we know this fact? Because it's memorized till today. It's a historically continuous chain of memorization going back to the time of the Prophet That's absolutely 100% provable. We have written documentary evidence. Written documentary evidence of people who can trace from one generation Scholarship to the next lineage. Generation. lineage. So every right. teacher... So you've got some names. Every, no, we don't have names. This is history. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm, I'm still struggling to see how We have, I'm we have names. We have families. We have, we have historical evidence of who they were, what they did. This is we, we, we don't we don't we don't we don't have this. Uh, can, can you, can you, well, anyway, let me finish your point. So we have to this today we have a tradition of the Quran being memorized, and the memorization is passed on generationally in a recorded way. So the person records who his teacher was, and it goes back until until the time of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. That I learned from so and so, who taught me so and so. And these are certificates yeah. that were given out from the very beginning that are available even now. So this is a documented historical chain of, of okay. the teaching Sounds of memorization good. to people. So that's one thing. So it's memorized. Wait, 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 we're going to see all this. So you know you haven't been. You mean you haven't looked at this already? Okay. No, 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 I, I will, no, I will no, find that's, it. That's a little position. It is position. Let, let him run finish his point. You. Let him run finish his point. Is, no, because what, what you're saying to me... I'm asking a genuine question. I'm, I'm asking a genuine question. No, no, answer that genuine question. I, I will I'm answer it. I'm more, more or less prepared to believe that, if you, that the Quran was assembled more or less as an entity. If you haven't looked at this, if you want to talk in his ear as well, because he can't hear what you're saying. I think that may... Sorry. Let him just finish his point. Let him just finish his point. It's more the contents. The whole point... I'm going to come to that in a minute. The whole point is that... This, these, these are available widely, and you can go and find them. I'm surprised you're making claims about how the Quran. Any place, please. Any, any place you can go, go to Medina to, University. Any, any go to uh, Egypt. Uh, um, the, uh, the schools in Egypt. They I mean, so will. They will is, have a, a ledger, like, a record. So, for example, uh, every single Imam that has ever led prayer in Mecca is on a ledger. Right. Who his teacher was. Who, right the way up to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Right the way up to, but because in, in Islam, right. this is valued very much, it, it's very much valued. Yeah. No, no, okay. no, but you see, look, look, the I'm point, let, let him make his, finish his point, though. Okay. 
So, so that's one. We have two modes of the preservation. So one is memorized. It was memorized from the beginning to the to this moment in time. And this is this is this is a two-way chain. We can trace it backwards. So we know that memorization happened. The second thing was that the process in which the the initial compilation was made, the first compilation, because everyone talks about Uthman's compilation, which is where all the wonderful burning happened, which is what the Christians tend to talk about. We don't know about the original. The, 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 so I'm glad you've got some evidence for that. So the. If you go prior to that, there was another, there was a previous compilation to this, under Abu Bakr. Uh, and the way that this was, and the way that the compilation happened, the way the compilation happened was a committee was set up. We had groups, of, a group of people were set up who were all memorizers and scribes of the Prophet upon him. So they already, they were already fully memorized the Quran, but they were given a specific task. You need to bring a, a, a written portion of the Quran that was written in the presence of the Prophet peace upon him in check, yeah. and a witness who saw this being checked. Okay. So the person who had written it, they would bring this as the oh, I'd written. Yeah. It was it was recited in front of the Prophet back to him after he provided it, and it was verified by him that this is what he had been revealed to how him. Do you know that? And there was a witness who say that this was done. All those steps, how do you know that? I'm, I'm telling you. You're not even listening to no, what you're I'm just saying. Telling to you. me this I'm telling you. Who's listening I, I, is looking I'm asking for very gay verification. I'm telling you. I'm telling you the process. I think first. it's likely I'm telling you the process. The Quran was probably so, if you, you're going to hear the process or you're not interested? No, 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 you don't mind me just quickly asking the question on something because otherwise by the time you finish I may not remember that particular question on that. It's just to make it more fruitful, that's all. But carry on. Okay, I'll, th I'll thank you. So, the, the, it was the, the, the witness had witnessed the person writing this verse down in the, in the presence of the Prophet and it was verified back to them. So, this is a process. Now, the question can be asked, if, the, if all of the people in the committee were already, had already memorized the Quran, what was the point of having people come with a portion of the written Quran in the presence of the Prophet upon him that was verified and a witness who saw that? So two people are witnessing that this text was written in front of the... What was the purpose of that? And there's a good reason for this. And the reason is... I like that, to think so too. That, absolutely. The good reason is, is that the, the Quran was never in the hands of an elect group of people for any length of time, unlike the Bible, which was specifically amongst the, the elites for the while. No, and actually, well, uh, we, know that when, we know that when the first person translated the Bible into English uh, and, he, and he printed it, he was actually quickly killed. killed. But I'm telling you, discussion. that's fine, that's fine. So I thought we covered the Bible earlier, we're now on the Quran. Okay, well, I wasn't here for that conversation, so I might add a few bits if you don't mind. So, I'd rather you when I know you would rather, no, 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 because I know you would rather. So, you're talking about being facetious, you were you were being you were talking about being facetious, but you were talking about being facetious and you're doing the same thing. Can we fix the Quran? I'm not being facetious, I'm just pointing it out. That's fine, then I pointed it out. I'm putting out, I know you would rather that I didn't talk I know that you did, you would rather I didn't talk about it. He's just questioning the tenets that we had. We had, well, actually, these are historical. Let's just keep to the Quran. I'm happy you to finish. Can you allow me to teach? It's, 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 it's interesting. It would be very, it would be very nice if you just allowed me to speak. Yeah, yeah. Because I allowed you to speak. When you then talk about when you were talking Quran about the Quran, I would have to say, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. And it also is a discontinuity from the, the Torah and the Gospel. Okay. So, so let's just okay, finish your point. Finish your point. Finish your point. Yeah. Jews, Jews are monotheists. Don't believe in the Trinity. Muslims are monotheists who don't believe in the Trinity. The discontinuity is the try polytheism that the Christians have. No, I don't think so. And I can't Jews don't believe in a well, I'm saying, but I'm, I'm responding. Well, your Christian friend is asking me questions. So if he's going to ask me questions, I'm going to respond to him. So he says that there was a he says there's a continuity between the Old Testament and New Testament, and the Quran is now out of that sync. Well, there's no Trinitarian Jews. There are no Trinitarian archetype of Jews. There isn't one. There are, well, well, there are monotheistic Jews and they're monotheistic Muslims. So, absolutely, 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 so, absolutely, absolutely. So, absolutely. I'm talking. Well, I'm responding to your colleague who was talking to you. If he's going to make little, no, 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 no. If your if your Christian colleague is going to interrupt and make comments, I apologise for that. And I've asked him to respond. That's why I apologise to. Okay, then I'll respond because he's making false claims. Just apologise. Just keep one subject one time. I'm trying to. So the so the so the, compil the original <laughs> compilation of the Quran Thank you. was a <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm right. breaking your flow. Try to help this and yours. Help this flow, copy. Right. All your, all this is this is almost like a, this is like a comedy show. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm trying to help you. But, 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 but look, if we understand, there's no sincerity there. There's no, there's no sincerity. Stop the accusations. Let's just stop. I'm telling. It's not an accusation. I'm just telling you. Okay, just finish your point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the Quran was compiled by committee with witnesses of all of the people who reviewed the text. There has never been a disagreement amongst the Muslims of what the Quran has been. Unlike the Bible, we see there was lots of disagreements about that. So, 
kind of itself. So there are because there are lots of you know we have the we have the we have seventy three books of the, the Catholics we have the sixty six books. Of, so there's disagreement Come about on, we have the DDK please, which doesn't contain please, anything. Please. We have the the Appianites who didn't believe in Paul's writing. What so are you lots doing, of, mate? I'm, I'm telling you no, no, what no, I think. No, one so, topic at a time. I, I'm We're talking about the Quran. I'm, I'm telling you. The Quran. And we want to uh, have a discussion about the Quran. We've had a discussion about the Bible. Well, I wasn't here for that. We can go back on the Bible that. later. But well, let's finish the Quran. I think we do need some rigor if we're both. Let's finish your point, mate. Thirty seconds. Quran, Quran. Finish your point, please. I don't, well, I don't I'm asking you about politeness. I can tip quite this thing. Right. So, what? Well, oh, I understand. I understand. So, the Quran was compiled by the community of Muslims, and there was never a disagreement amongst the community of Muslims what the Quran compiled. So, the original compilation happened because there was a an incident in, in a battle where people were killed, and there was a concern that because many of the people had memorized had died in that battle that yeah. maybe the Quran would become lost. It didn't mean that the other memorizers didn't exist, they were there. And so this was the, the motivation behind compiling the Quran. And so it's compiled by the community of Muslims and they agreed that this is the Quran. Yeah. That was the first copy that was given to Hafsa. Okay. Okay. And then later there was another issue. And the issue was what? And then you, you, sort of, you sort of alluded to this a little bit in your comments about there being different versions of the Quran. Yes. In, as within, within 100 years, Islam had spread all the way to uh, Spain, Europe, we had, to China. Yeah? yeah. So it's quite wide, uh, that widely, is and there were pe and there were people who were speaking uh -huh. not natively Arabic, who were then reciting the Quran, and there were there were some mistakes in the recitation, uh, and there was concern that people were arguing about the way that the Quran should be recited, and then this was a time when when uh, it was mentioned to Quran that you should yeah. make a standard. Oh, t text of the Quran that, that people can agree that this is how the recitation is. Now, the Prophet peace upon him has said to us quite specifically that the Quran was revealed in different modes of recitation. So we have you mentioned Warsh and you met Hafs and Asim. There were different ways of reciting the Quran. All of them have come from the Prophet peace upon him. So we don't have the concept. So I'm, I'm just doing a comparison to explain the difference, not to be pejorative. So you, you ha we don't have the idea of one text like you have in so the Gospel that, of John, or for example, would be one text that then was passed down. We have the Quran was revealed in different ways of reciting from the Prophet Manipis upon him and then this was provided and this was right. this was taught to the people so even 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 in the even in the last I'm lifetime of the Prophet we have this so your colleagues at it again sorry yeah yeah you want to apologize for him again I don't yeah mind. I'll apologize so come on come so well, no, not really. this is this is a childish behavior just, 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 just have a conversation so, yeah. so and just 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 before I continue uh, yeah. none of this none of these things we're talking about for me are a reason not to be a Christian uh, my my issues are with I, I accept that my too. my issues are with the Trinity original sin yeah. How how sins are forgiven, right. and none of these are answered by any of these questions because I think that all of those are illogical and actually if, if your unjust. Heart feels no need, so, then you don't discussion. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, 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 you know, what, you know, the funny thing is with this: the preservation of Scripture is not to me the be and end all. The reason why I say this is that we can see, and I can give evidence I haven't that. Finished my, oh, oh, just finish prepare, your point, then. Go on. Go on. How long finish you got? About a minute left, I'm, I'm and not, then I'll give you. I'll give you two or three minutes to come back. Oh, you you can fine. talk for as long as you like. So it was. It was. So the Quran was compiled. So there, there was a second compilation, the Uthman compilation. Right, right. Yes. And in that compilation, that the it was the Quran was then compiled into a single standard text. Okay? Yes. Yes. Now, what was the process again? The, so the same process happened again. The scribes were brought. People yeah. had to bring. Even though they already had done a compilation. They had a compilation of the Quran already present because yeah. it was done on that book. The right. same process was gone through again to, to yeah. find, and there was a reason for that. And yeah. the same reason applied that there was no issue amongst the community of Muslims yeah. that this is what the Quran okay. was. So wow. the people that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him recited the Quran to and gave them the Quran to okay. agreed that this is the text that was revealed to right. us. Nothing added, nothing right. taken away. Right. Okay. We have, and you know, go to the Birmingham manuscript, we yeah. have yes. manuscripts We're from early first century. And we have the memorization, which go in parallel up to now. Right, right. And there's been okay. no disagreement amongst the Muslims okay. about what the Quran is. So we have a verifiable right. process of checking the history, right. history, history okay. of the Quran. Nothing anonymous, nothing hidden, Sounds good. nothing so in secret, yeah. and we can trace it back to the original right. time. Okay. I, I would agree with you that so, the, the, the case for the Quran being... A, so you're, a you're talking to me or your, your, your colleagues? Right. Right. I, I don't know whether you want me to speak or not, Sorry, but on that I'd probably agree with you. Well, okay. I, 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 the only, the, the only, case is stronger with the Quran. Preserved, yes. The only thing I would preserved. say is, I do have some very, uh, very differing views. 
based on some very good evidence in terms of uh, hadiths, in terms of some of the evidence of research. Now, we've got a case that there's been uh, found over 4,000 variances within the manuscripts we're talking about. So within the last six, seven, eight oldest manuscripts that have been preserved of the Quran, we are finding major variances between... Evid evidence, please. We'll provide that next time, no problem at all. So I don't accept the claim? And there, and there's a specific, just, I don't accept the claim. You haven't evidence. provided evidence of what you said. I didn't said. give you any. I didn't, wasn't giving you yeah. making the claim. No, so, giving so, the, so, let, so let I'm going to put my point. point. Let him finish his point. I'm happy to reach his point. Whether right. I believe okay. it or not is a different right. story. You, you make your point. So to have a discussion, I think I should be allowed to have a view of my own on this. We're letting you have and your my view. My view on this, Without evidence which I... Okay. No, no, I'm saying it's his view. It's his view. It's just a view. It's not an evidence-based discussion because no evidence has been provided by anybody. Exactly. It's purely a discussion of your view, my view, and see where we go with it. That's all it is. And just keep it that. So what my view is, based on what I seen that we do have variances, we do have some issues of missing Quran text. Missing Quran text. Let's let him finish his point. Yeah. I'm just repeating. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. And because of that, I can't 100% agree with you yeah. with what you said. Now, another one of these issues is all about oral tradition. Now, the problem with oral tradition is if we, for example, have no books whatsoever and we purely rel re relied on oral tradition, I would say, based on what we know of oral tradition today, no matter how smart you are, if we have many, many people that are reciting, we will have variances. It doesn't take much to create a <laughs> variance yeah, yeah, point yeah, with oral tradition. I'm smiling. So, so there is an issue with oral tradition, and fundamentally, if you are going to prove a book is true, you would never rely on oral tradition. Because it's okay, it's okay. Let him right? Great. And therefore, it is the uh, written version that is key to verify the validity of anything, of any information, whether it's come from an oral tradition or not. And the reason why I say this is this. We have a very similar case in other religions, like the uh, Mormons. The Mormons have a very similar case to you. They said they had these golden plates, they, they heard this message, they wrote, uh, they, they orally passed that message around and eventually they wrote it down and all we've got is a very similar storyline in many uh, it's okay so let him finish his point it is essentially the same scenario. So, let him finish his point. So, let him finish his point. It's a bit like Paul, isn't it? It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's okay. These comments have been very respectful. I understand. I'm not talking to him. So, be honest, you'll be very respectful, and I really appreciate it. I'm glad I'm just trying to finish your point. Finish your point. So, with those cases, I am happy for another time to then bring the evidence to do that 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 check and yes. validation of some of those uh, claims that we're making. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And we can do the let same with the Bible as well. Let him finish his point. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, let, let okay. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, let, so yeah. but I will also say this, I will say this. In neither case do I say is the crux of whether it's true. The crux of whether it's true is more to do with the content of the message behind the book than the way it's been preserved. So the reason why I say that is when you've got something fundamentally that is saying one statement in how God exists and how we are saved and how we receive eternal life, very different to what it says in the Bible, then we know that they both can't be true. They both can't be true. So then what to me becomes more of an issue is to understand why do we have those differences. So like fundamentally for me, one of the core ones of that... No, I understand that. We're just talking about preservation yes. of the Quran. Right, you made right. your point. You're, you're a scientist, is that right? You're, you're yes, a scientist? Yes. Physicist. You're a physicist, thank you, right? Can I just ask you, can I just confirm what your brother just said here, which is that the Quran was basically not preserved. There were lots of different variant readings. There's 32 different versions of the Quran in existence. Is that right? Yes. And basically, it's uh, in effect... Uh, an amalgamation of uh, you know man-made and what have you hodgepodge stories. That's what he said. Okay. Now I ask you an honest question. Something that has had what he has just said happen to it, the scripture, over twelve or thirteen centuries. Mass corruption. Different readings. Well, okay. I, I think it was corruption. Stable corruption. Early on. Corruption. Clearly it was a corruption. Corruption. Different readings, etc. 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 Okay. A level. Would you? Would you? Hold on, brother. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Yes. Would you find, brother? Please. Would you find quite an enormous amount of historical evidence to support 
this, uh, uh, let's say, infighting as to which scripture was actually valid or not. Would you find that evidence of that in history? Depends. I, 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 personally, I'll have to be honest with you on this one. Yes. If you don't mind, just on this yes. one. Don't, don't get me wrong, I don't believe the Quran is the word. That's fine, God, okay? that's fine. <laughs> but in, in terms of the establishment of a stable text early on, yes, I, I, and a lack of contrary narratives like 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 the Gospel of Thomas, uh, I, I would say yes, the Quran is was established as a stable, relatively stable entity quickly and without a major alteration and change. Yeah. Right. I, mean, I, I would okay. Actually, I would so so let me just make my point now. No, no, no. But I need to make my I need to make my point. It that's fine. No, that's Bible, fine. That's fine. I accept that. And I, and I value your honesty on that. So basically, what the brother's basically saying is that no, we don't find this. I, the, the very the, 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 look, the very fact, me, the very look. When we no, 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 no. I, no, I let, I let Imran speak. I let you speak. I need to make my point. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But I want to make my point now, right? The very fact that for the last 14 centuries we don't see this controversy within the Islamic world as to which Quran is the Quran in itself for a, a rational, reasonable human being should be great evidence to prove that this didn't exist. Because well, we don't... Hold on, let me, no, 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 let, no, no, let, let me, let me just finish my point. Okay. So we don't... So that's the first thing. We don't find that. Secondly, it's only in the last 50 or so years that we have Christian missionaries who are actually trying to bring this assertion that this did exist. Yet there's no historical evidence of it ever happening. Secondly, and I, and I say this is a, no, uh, and I, of, what, of this infighting between Muslims as to which is the right Quran. We don't no have it. No disagreement. No disagreement. But you see, look, my point is Shia and Muslim, uh, uh, you know, uh, other groups, we may have our disagreements about our aqidah in terms of, in terms of you know whether uh, such a such a you know like the hundred year war or whatever, right? But there is no throughout history, no confusion, disagreement, problems between even sects that don't actually agree with each other on many other fundamental things, right? And so the very so the very the very the very fact that we do not find this is a very strong argument to prove the Muslim case, which is that preservation occurred, which is what your friend actually agrees with. Secondly, 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 I'm sure you do. Secondly, the very fact that if what you say is true, multiple readings, changes and everything else that occurred, as I just explained to you, in Saudi Arabia, in Mecca today, what Quran are they reading in Mecca? In Pakistan, what Quran are they reading in Pakistan? What Quran are they reading in rural Africa? The same Quran. How can you have massive corruption, changes, manipulation and everything else, yet there's no historical record? And in fact, history proves you wrong on that point. And not only that, but you don't have multiple readings of a text today. How does it unify itself 14 centuries let, down the road? Let, let, me, let me respond to that. Let me respond Please. to that. And I would say, at a certain point in time, there is a very strong coherence with the, with the Quran, as you say, from a certain point. My what, what point, point. What point was that, sorry? When you have a sort of standard version when of, was this? of the Hass. When was this? Quran. Uthman, when, or beyond Uthman. Uthman. So within the first 30 years of the Prophet's No, Muhammad probably beyond Muhammad. that. But anyway, what my point is, no, no, but you, I don't you, know the exact date. No, but if you say something, you have to provide no, no, evidence. Let, let me say this. Let me say this. I uh, just don't know the precise date. What I'm saying is this. Prior to that, we have much evidence that there were many different versions. There were many misscriptions. Uh, what evidence is that? Can you quote the evidence? Hadith. What? So you're going to Muslim sources, Muslim sources. right, that actually confirm yeah. the opposite of what you're saying. No, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm of course saying, they do. I'm saying that which, ha are... which hadith says there were multiple readings? Oh, what I'm telling you is this. Which hadith says that... there was multiple readings? I will give you the evidence next week, as I said. Just the searches of no, can, you, no, no. Can, you, can you Google it now? I, I'd be happy for you to Google it. I'll wait 10 minutes, 15 minutes, however long you want to. I want you to prove to me that there was a hadith that said that there were multiple Qurans, multiple readings, and the Sahaba, the companions, didn't agree which ones were the right ones. Please, find that for me. Well, we'll do that another time. No, no, I, I'll give you 15 minutes. My, my understanding is I don't want, no I'm not here to spend my time searching for something. So, so your position is that up until Uthman, the Quran yeah. was different.
Everyone. I'm going to pray. Yeah. Anyway, look, it was a pleasure to. It was a pleasure to talk to you. I have to pray. I have to pray. So right, yeah. we'll before we'll time finishes, we'll continue this next time. Yeah, bless you. And uh, we'll, so we'll provide the evidence room, behind okay. it. That's all right. So it's the one true God that we want to know, and we want the true revelation. And we're all agreed, right? Yeah. We're all humbly seeking the true revelation. Okay. The true, well, we'll continue this conversation next time. Then we'll provide the evidence. I think. As well. I think you're meeting. Yeah. Are you, are you saying up to a thousand? The Quran was all different. Yeah. Kind of, right? And then after Uthman, it was standardized. And has it changed since then? Well, I'm saying prior to Uthman. No, let's go prior to Uthman. Yeah. So your claim is From prior Muhammad, to Muhammad, up until the point that you have the standardized version. No, no, no. Up to Uthman. Because Uthman is the one standard version. Do you know what year Uthman was a caliph? What's it? What's it? You know what year? Uh, 30 years after Uthman. No, no, no. Uh, uh, 12, no, when, 12, when, 12 years. When the was but let's, let's, just, yeah, let's just establish a position. So then we know what we're working from. So you're saying prior to Uthman, the Quran was in different versions, yeah? And then it was standardized by Uthman. Are you then saying after Uthman it's been changed again? What I'm saying is that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've got to go. But what I'm just right. saying is that well, this is a separate discussion. Happy to have it next time where we provide more this evidence. Is, I think it's the same it's discussion. Trying to pull him away, huh? I'm talking about the detail. He's trying to pull him away. Come on, man. You need to go. There's no point of playing detail. It's getting Sorry. awkward. Yeah. Yeah. There's no point of playing detail. That wasn't our discussion. No, I understand. I would like to attend the discussion. I'd love to see you. I'm sure you're going to agree. I'll provide the evidence next time. No, no, no. I'm saying is this. The Quran was assembled over a short period of time. If you want Nobody's to provide evidence, sure. it's fine. Yes. Your research is fine. Yes. But you, you need to establish the point you're trying to make. So I'm just trying to establish your position. So I get I get the first part of it. You're saying before the man standardized the Quran, it was different versions. That's your initial claim. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I just want to understand your position after that point. So once it was standardized by Uthman, has it been changed again since then? What I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. Is there is over history from the day of Muhammad many uh, uh, variations and scriptures. What do we standardize, you say, with Uthman? Well, I'm just saying, let me just explain my point. Well, we've got evidence that there has been many, many uh, different uh, areas of the Quran, scripts of the Quran that had variances. Much of it was destroyed. All right, was Much it standardized it was with Uthman? Is that your position? And it's through that history, I get that. a level of standardization. Right, yes. right, right, right. And since that point, has it been changed? That I couldn't say. Fair enough. Okay. That, at least I know your position. But all I am saying is that in the Qurans we have today of 31, there are still variances, by the way, <laughs> on certain verses. But it's no big deal because they're not big, big changes. But that's not my point. I'm saying the history, the history, historicity of the Quran from the day of Muhammad is where the where the real concern is. I, I don't mind that. At the early years. No, no, I understand that. And that's I'm why just saying I believe the Quran because here's a question, question that needs to be answered by you. Muhammad. But here's a question that needs to be answered by you. If there were so many versions of the Quran, yeah. and then it was standardized, why has it not been changed again? If you have got rid of many variations of the right. Quran, right. and then you've created a standard version, yes. and then you put control over that version... How do you put control over that version? There's loads of different ways. We'll have that discussion next week. All right, week. fantastic. Okay. Take care, my friend. Bye, take care. Asalaamu right. Alaikum. So we had a nice discussion there with our Christian friends. I think what's... You know, and then the, the discussion went from the Bible to the Quran, which is fine. There's no problem with that. Now, whenever we look at the Bible or we look at the Quran, look at any scripture, you know, the Christian brothers and sisters say to us that preservation is actually not important or that it doesn't change the doctrine, which is a circular argument because if you say a lot of the scriptures that we have today are fairly unanimous in agreement to a particular view, a particular doctrine, well, you have to appreciate that that was a century's worth of accumulation of uh, documentation that they agreed with and put into particular volumes in order to pass as their doctrine, as their belief. So if you don't have preservation, you have a fundamental problem which is that A, you can pick and choose what you accept and B, many corruptions or lies can actually creep in. Now, when we look at the Qur'an and the assertions that are often made about the Qur'an, that the Qur'an is not preserved as well and that there were these problems and the goat ate this particular parchment or this, this Uthman burnt certain uh, you know, copies or whatever, 
whatever argument you place, ultimately, it comes down to these two main arguments for me, which is that number one, throughout our 1400 years of Islamic, uh, you know, uh, religion, civilization, where do we have any historical uh, record of fighting or arguing about which Quran is the word of God? We don't have it. And the very absence, I believe, of that provides a, a very weighty argument that there wasn't this corruption and this manipulation and fabrication that these people are referring to. And secondly, I would say that when a scripture is corrupted, then you expect to find certain things in the future. And perhaps the most important one would be a disagreement amongst people as to which scripture is actually the word of God, which with all due respect to my Christian brothers and sisters is exactly the discussions and debates and disagreements that they have today about the Bible whether it's the Catholic Bible or the, or, or the Protestant Bible or whether uh, the Jehovah Witness Bible or the Seven-day Adventist Bible, you know, which Bible is the Word of God? This is the arguments and the discussions that are being had today. And that's exactly what you expect to find. And the fact that we do not find this, the fact that we do not have somebody in Saudi Arabia or in Egypt or in Africa reading a Quran where people have to constantly different people are correcting different verses because they're all reciting them differently. The fact that we do not have this phenomena, I believe for a reasonable person, should be enough in itself to prove preservation. Now, I'm not claiming that just because you have preservation, it is the word of God. But what I am saying is that it's fundamentally something that Christians need to look at, that if you, if you argue that your Bible is from God, inspired by God and yet it is not preserved and then you claim that the Quran actually is not from God and is from something other than God and yet it has been impeccably preserved and memorized till today one has to ask the question why would God allow for something that's false to be preserved so society could rely upon its preservation and on the other hand something that is from God which we, of course, in its original form, i.e. the words of Jesus, we do say that they are indeed from God. But what we have today, the Bible, if we're saying it was inspired by God or it was, uh, you know, looked over by God, uh, guaranteed by God, and yet we find such major differences all the way through the scriptures. And so these are fundamental questions I believe that if we reflect upon and look upon, we can only really come with one conclusion. When it comes to preservation, Alhamdulillah, the Qur'an has been preserved. And the evidence of that is what we see today. The result of that preservation, we can actually physically uh, see that preservation today in the way that Islam has spread and the way that the Qur'an has spread all over the world. And in the one unified way of reciting this, this uh, Qur'an of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that was my basic point. Um, inshallah, I hope people um, benefit from the discussion. Sometimes the discussions can turn a little bit, uh, let's say, uh, uh, lacking manners or etiquette. And it, wherever we fall short, we ask Allah for our forgiveness, in, uh, Allah, Allah for forgiveness on that, inshallah. And we uh, request that our brothers and sisters also do dua for us, uh, pray for us that we may better ourselves in our dawah and do it more, uh, you know, closely to what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu taught us. So with that, inshallah, I'd say salaam alaikum to everybody. And remember us, inshallah, in your dua. Salaam alaikum.